Hello and welcome to this video, Personal Project Phase 1, Approaches to Learning. Approaches to learning are the skills which you need to know and to be aware of, to understand and apply throughout various stages of the personal project in order to succeed. And it's really, really important that you understand what the ATL skills are, how and when to use them. So what I'm going to share with you in this video are the approaches to learning skills and how they fit into your personal project from the very beginning right up until the end and then again a brief recap on the importance of understanding how to fail well and if you're able to understand that then believe me the personal project will be an easier journey for you to go through because you have the skills and the mental attitude to succeed through all of the challenges that you're going to face. There is a new part to the ATL skills and they are the effective skills. And effective skills are looking at things like mindfulness. How can you practice strategies to develop focus and concentration? Resilience. Practice taking responsibility for your actions, owning up for what mistakes you make, making changes to your behavior when needed, Perseverance, how to develop that perseverance, how to keep going, how to get to the end of the road. Emotional self-management, practicing strategies for reducing anxiety, deadlines are going to come up, how are you going to deal with it? Self-motivation, managing self-talk and positive thinking. Because what's going to happen as you start the personal project, there's going to be that initial buzz of excitement. And then as other things like assessments come in the way in holidays and other things that you have to take care of, then you're going to need to be able to continuously motivate yourself to succeed in this personal project. Now, the effective skills are the core of any individual and it's really important that you're able to develop those throughout the personal project because as part of your reflection, you will need to demonstrate how you've understood these effective skills and how you use them to succeed in the personal project. Now, if you turn to page 12 of the personal project guidebook, what you see is the table which highlights the ATL skills you will need to be using at which stage of the personal project. So, what you have are the personal project objectives. Now, there are four criteria for the personal project. Investigating, planning, taking action and reflecting. As part of investigating, you will be looking at to use collaborative skills between yourself and your supervisor to be able to discuss your thoughts, your goals, your ideas and to narrow down your topic. You're going to have to develop critical thinking skills and also your creative thinking skills to come up with what you want to use in the first place. Your critical thinking skills will come when you try and connect your goal or your topic with the global context. Also as part of investigation you're going to be using your information and media literacy skills and your transfer skills as you research what you need to be looking at as part of your project, what is relevant to your topic, what is relevant to connect with your global context. As part of planning you're going to again be using collaboration, organization skills, critical thinking skills and creative thinking and also reflection skills as well. As part of Objective C, taking action, you're going to be using your organization skills, critical thinking skills and creative skills. You're also going to be looking at communication through language and communication through interaction. Again, critical thinking, creative thinking and transfer skills. When you are reflecting, which is Objective D, you'll be looking at communication through language, communication through interaction and reflection. And all the way through the process, you are going to be using your effective skills of mindfulness, perseverance, resilience, emotional management and self-motivation. So what you can see that is new in this personal project handbook is we've actually connected the ATL skills to the objectives of the personal project. So this acts as a trigger to give you further guidance on what skills and which tools you need to be using at what stage of the personal project. Now, let's just have a recap of 
failing well. And why it is important that you understand this, okay? A student who fails well is one who makes effort-based attributions for their failure. That is one who reflects on their performance and is able to admit that the reason they've not done so well is because they haven't put enough effort into the work. And this is really crucial when you have that long summer break. You really got to make sure that you do some productive work on your personal project. You need to accept that there's going to be setbacks as you go through this process. Some things are going to go fantastically well, other days not so well. It's all part of the process. You need to be able to use strategies to learn from the mistakes that you made. You need to expect to experience some failure in new situations or new learning. The personal project, it's a new thing for you. It's not going to go smoothly, and yeah, you're going to make, you know, some mistakes are going to be made. It's always part of when you learn something new. You need to be adaptable and make changes where necessary. This is really crucial as part of organization and your timeline. You need to be updating it regularly to make sure that you're reflecting what is actually happening in real time with your personal project. You need to be able to use your talent because believe me, you've all got it. Your organization and your hard work to minimize the possibility of failure. You need to be able to establish complete control in some areas. Any failure that is faced, you've got to view it as temporary and specific. Tomorrow is a different day. Okay, today maybe wasn't so good on the personal project, but you know what? I've got tomorrow and I can try again. And you need to be able to take responsibility for your own actions in failure situations. That is generally an overview of the characteristics and the mental thought processes that you need to have in order to fail well. And crucially, you must understand that it is not you who is a failure, but it is the failure to use the correct strategies that will let you down. So it's really, really important that when you meet with your supervisors, that you discuss approaches to learning skills, strategies, so that you know that you're on the right track and seek your supervisor's guidance in order for you to be able to develop your understanding to a higher level. And if you ask the right questions, if you inquire with your supervisor, if you communicate and collaborate, you will gain a deeper understanding of the ATL skills and the process will go a lot smoother for you than if you don't do that. So those are the approaches to learning skills. The guidebook or the handbook states clearly which ones you will use at which point in time for your personal project. Make sure you read and you ask and you apply. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.